These are the actual plans that we used for the construction of our boardwalk and path. What we have here is the boardwalk section. This is our floating boardwalk and just on the approaches to the land on either side is our fixed boardwalk sections. We also have a nice uh, fishing stand which we replaced the existing fishing stand and this also acts as a nice viewing area. Initially the first phase of it was to develop the canal banks that we have under our control and um, putting in a, a path, a looped trail and path um, connecting to Surfdrum Harbour Bridge um, back to Leitrim Village. The next phase of that was looking at, at connecting from some Drum, Drum Harbour Bridge into Drum Shambo, which was the next main town. Um, and we had a big difficulty there through Acres Lake of how do we get by Acres Lake. We looked initially at bringing this through uh, adjoining lands, but we had difficulty with uh, environmental constraints and also landowners and very poor ground conditions. Um, so we looked at trying to make an iconic feature So what we have here just over my uh, right shoulder there is our existing canal path and then over here to my left is we have our existing um, car park and uh, jetties and access to Drumshambo. And the problem then was we couldn't actually build through our nice reed fringes here and basically we decided we'll go through the water. The initial concept was to look at trying to put a fixed boardwalk in, but create the illusion that it would be a floating structure. Um, and as it transpired through doing environmental reports and through site investigations, it became quite difficult to put in a fixed piled boardwalk. Um, so we looked at alternative solutions and one of the options that we decided upon was actually to put in a floating, uh, a large floating unit um, that which eventually would connect into two fixed boardwalks on either side. Um, so from going from a concept of trying to create the illusion of having a floating boardwalk, we actually did develop a floating boardwalk. <laughs> Well, the children start in the town and they meet their coaches, they do their warm up and then they leave the town and they come out to our local amenity at Acres where all of a sudden they're transported across a floating boardwalk where they can get into the natural rhythm of the water and there's a peacefulness and a tranquility about it that they can bring into their running. They get into the rhythm and the flow of the water as they move. It's quite funny when you start a lot of these works from um, going out on site and there's nothing there um, and you spend a lot of time doing developing plans, doing your drawings, putting reports together um, and it's nice to see that sort of being developed and there's a big team of people um, from the design aspect, environmental teams to then your operations crew, a lot of the guys that actually would have built this. So it's nice to take satisfaction from seeing it being built. Um, you sort of tend to walk away from a lot of projects when they're built um, but this is one that I think is quite close to my heart it's it's one I'm very proud of um, and it's nice to get the reaction and see the reaction from the public that really enjoy this and every time you drive by it you, you can sort of point out and say that's mine.